Hi, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL. This will be the first part of our support videos uh, here on the new Zygu G90 HF rig that we have here at Bridgecom Systems. Today, we're gonna go through some of the core functions of the radio. This is exactly how you're seeing it as it comes out of the box. Uh, we're gonna go through the bands. We're gonna make sure that the bands are in the proper mode or the most likely mode as they come up that you're gonna use. We'll cover selecting frequency and tuning steps here from the main control and main knobs. So let's begin. Okay, first and foremost, before you do anything with your radio, you want to make sure and have your antenna plugged into the back. If you start transmitting without an antenna plugged in, you can cause uh, damage to the finals of the radio. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And your power connection. So the cool thing about this radio in this setup is everything besides your power supply, and your antenna are right in the Zygu box as you unpack it. So everything you need to get on the ear uh, minus your power supply and antenna. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and power this on. Okay, we have our Zygu logo, which just popped up here. And this came up um, on the 20 meter band as per bands and as for the standard modes of usage here. When you turn your radio on initially, um, you're gonna see that in the 20 meter band here, 14.350, which is consequentially uh, the upper portion of the uh, 20 meter band that the preset is in lower sideband. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that to upper sideband like we normally use. Uh, the beauty of this radio is typically the radio remembers what mode you were in previously in the band. So once you get these modes set up correctly, and this is uh, considering voice communication right now, but if you wanted to use CW and you had it in CW mode, um, then it would remember that you were in CW mode for that particular band. So for each of the bands, it remembers the settings you were last in. Uh, if you want to go ahead and put this to upper side band for voice mode, you can. We're going to go ahead and just use this mode button on the top here, which is these two buttons up and down for mode. We could select our mode here. We could select um, AM, Narrow FM, CWR, CW, and um, then upper sideband, of course, which is the proper mode uh, for use on the 20 meter band. Um, we could use our band select switch here to change bands. There's this uh, up and down, or back and forth rather, button on the top to change bands. Uh, so we can down select or actually up select here. We're in um, 17 meters. And let me see here. We are in 15 meters, which is also an upper side band. Perfect. And then let's go up to 12 meters. And then 10 meters as well. So these are all properly aligned. Oh, these are all properly aligned um, in the upper side band. Just some of these you might have to change. It's not going to come right out of the box right the way you want it here. Um, okay, so we are in uh, 160 meters. Lower side band, that's correct. 80 meters lower side band. 60 meters, usually that's an upper side band, so we'll want to select upper side band. Want to do some receiving on 60 meters here. And then we have. Um, then we have our 40 meter band, which is lower side band, which is correct. Okay, so right out of the box, the modes are pretty much correct. It's gonna take some toggling and some configuration here right out of the box. Um, let's go to our tuning control here now. So this is set up down in the CW portion here with 40 meters. Uh, suppose we wanted to get up into the general class portion and suppose we wanted to do it quick because we wanted to uh, flip through the general class portion and uh, say we didn't want to go, um, let's see here, we have our megahertz, we have our kilohertz, say we didn't want to go by kilohertz um, increment, say we wanted to go ahead and jump directly to a different frequency, as you push in the tuning knob it changes the column that is. Um, the 100 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, and then down into the hertz. So you could fine tune, um, or you can uh, go in huge steps um, as far as the tuner is concerned to get to places quickly just by pushing in and changing the incremental value. 
on your front dial. So say I wanted to go, uh, let's see here, to 7.175, which is the beginning of the uh, general class band, and then scan up from there, just using my knob here. We're at 7.175 kilohertz, and I could fine tune on up if I wanted, up and down just by selecting the incremental values here uh, from this front knob here. Since this is an initialization video, let's go ahead and show you how to truly make this radio yours. Let's go ahead and name your radio. Get a long press VM down here on the bottom. And here we are, we could put on, we could put in our startup screen, we could put in our call sign. Go ahead and select using our knob here and push in K, B, zero. T, T. And L. And if I go ahead and hit save. And then I go ahead and power this off and power it back on again. Instead of the Zygu display, display screen, look what you get. This is cool. And turn it off and turn it back on again. Make it yours. I love it. The Zygu G90 offers a compelling experience and a compact and portable build for all of your HF needs. If you'd like to get started in HF or would like to learn more about this excellent transceiver, be sure to click the link in our description. If you have more questions about the Zygu G90, which I'm sure you have, be sure to let us know down in the comments. To keep up with new things in amateur radio, be sure to click the notification bell. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL with BridgeCom Systems, N73.